So this was question five. Sweet. Question six is asking us, uh, what is the simple interest accrued on 7,500 at 6% of 90 days? I believe I've done sort of these questions as well. Um, simple interest problems before. Whoop, what did I do? Simple interest on $7,500. Oh, what? I'm pressing a button. $7,500 at 6% of 90 days. So when we talk about the simple interest, what we have to do is what on a test, what you usually get is you actually get a, a formula sheet in terms of what the simple interest, future interests, like annuities, values, you get all of these formulas on a sheet, right? So in order for us to grab that, what we can do is we can, we know that our formula for simple interest is simply, we can say it's A here. A here is our final amount. Okay, so our final amount is equal to P, which is our principal, or what we're going to start with. P here uh, times, I have 1 plus RT, where R here is the interest rate, and T here is, in, is time, and this is in years in years here. So given this formula, what we can do is we can actually simply just use this formula to solve for our problem, right? So we have here, we, we don't know what our final amount is. So we're solving for our final amount, which is A. Our principal is what our starting value is. So our starting number, we put in $7,500 into the bank. So $7,500 into the bank. It's one plus, and the R here is interest rate. And the interest rate is, we're get, it's given in percent. So what we're gonna have to do is convert it to decimals, right? So 6% here is obviously gonna equal 0 0.06, right? 0 0.06, or you can think of it as six divided by 100. And then it's gonna, that's our R value. And we have to multiply it by our T value in years, right? And time is in years. In this case, we have 90 days. So in this case, we don't specifically have, it's not multiplied by one, because one would be one year, right? So we have to actually write a decimal or fraction in terms of how do we figure out what 90 days of a year is. So I can simply just put 90 over 3,665 because we know that there are 365 days to a year. So this here would be our uh, formula in this case here. So if 7,500 is our principal, 1 plus 0 0.06 is our interest rate, and then 90 divided by 365 is a fraction of what uh, this year would uh, would uh, of, of what what ninety days in a year would be. So we basically convert it into years here, and all we have to do is just plug this in our calculator, right? And then we will get our final answer. So this here would be seventy five hundred is one plus, and then we're gonna, let me just uh, you type this in my calculator. So I have one one plus zero point zero six multiplied by ninety divided by three sixty five here. Zero point zero six times ninety over 365, this will give me a value of 0 0.01479. So I'm going to write this down, 0 0.01479. I'm going to add that by 1. It would give me a value of 1 plus that would be 1.01479. And then I just have to multiply that by 7,500 to get our answer, which would equal $7,610.96 here. So this here is our final amount here on our on on our on our principal which was 7500. So we get we amassed in total our final amount is $7,610.96. So in order but the question here is we're not done here. Right? We're not done the problem because it's it's asking us to find the only, but we only care about the simple interest, right? This here is our final amount. It's not our simple interest. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take our interest here. It's going to equal basically our final amount minus our principal, right? We don't really care. The principal was a $7,500. That was us. That was our money, right? We care about what bank or what how, how much did the bank actually pay us on this simple interest here. So interest rate would equal um, A here, which is our final amount, which is basically the, uh, the number calculated here. So $7,610.96. We're going to subtract that by the initial amount, our principal balance, which was $7,500, right? And we put in $7,500 in the beginning here. And this here would equal, this would equal um, our 
interest that's being accrued, right? Accrued, sorry, not accrued. And this would give me a value of $110.96, right? So our interest rate here is $110.96. And this here is our correct, is our answer for this problem here. Again, it's $110.96 is only interest, right? So as you can see, this here, simple interest equals $110.95, very, very close to 96 cents here. So the solution here is correct. Uh, they did, uh, their, their formula here was simple interest equals P times R times T over 100, I believe. And this here gives us the exact same answer as well. So you have, again, um, 7,500 is our principal uh, number. Uh, the rate of interest is 6%. And time is, again, 90 divided by 365. That's good. And basically, they just plugged, in, plugged it into the equation as well, and they simplified. So this here, solution here is correct. It's a good analysis as well.